Finally, let, let's, let's just get to salvation. What do they believe about salvation? All right. Turn to Revelation. I suppose that's where we're going to be most of the time. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that exactly 144,000 faithful Christians will go to heaven to rule with Christ in the kingdom of God. This is a great cult. Um, I have to have respect for someone who can get people to join their cult knowing they're not even going to heaven. <laughs> I mean, not, not respect. I mean, obviously not. But you see what I'm saying? They don't even think they're going to heaven. I, I mean, and they're, and they're in this cult. And they use John 10, 16. So go there as well, but keep a finger in, in Revelation. And here's what they say. This is why 144,000 are going to heaven, and you're not. Because most Jehovah's Witnesses that you find, you will find some. It's like finding a, like a, like a special colored golf ball. You know what I mean? We used to dive in the river and like try to find golf balls like to make some money when I was a kid. And you'd find like a, like a, a special Titleist that was a different color, like green or something. And it's like, oh, I'm going to get 50 cents for this one. But if you're one of the 100, if you find 144,000, one of them around here today, I mean, that person thinks they're pretty good. They're pretty special. All right. All right. John 10, 16, the Bible says, The other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold and one shepherd. So these other sheep, which are not of this fold, I'm going to bring them with me, and then it's going to be of one fold. You know, Gentiles. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. We studied it in Romans 9, 10, and 11. Turn to Galatians 3, 28. Galatians 3. Galatians 3, 28. It's the Gentiles. He's talking about that people, will, the Gentiles, the, the mystery went out to the Gentiles. Remember Thursday night? The, the mystery of the gospel went out to the Gentiles. And they're going to get saved too. They were not of the sheep before, but now they are. They're grafted in, it says in Romans. The other sheep are the Gentiles. Look at Gen, uh, Galatians chapter 3 and verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek, neither is there bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all what? One in Christ Jesus. The other sheep are the Gentiles, not 144,000 people that go to heaven and, and they're, they would stopped being picked in 1914. That changed in 1980. I think they can still be picked now. I'm not sure, but I didn't get too deep into that. I could be wrong on that. But the 144,000 go to heaven. Everybody else stays here. Some good people go to hell where they cease to exist. They just burn up. Okay, so that's the crux of it. How do I become one of the 144,000? The Watchtower Society. All right, I know you're saying it's stupid. Hang with me. We're almost there. The Watchtower Society. The Bible indicates, go to Revelation, that 144,000 people will be resurrected to heavenly life. Quote, in uh, parentheses, Revelation 7.4. So let's turn there. In the vision recorded at Revelation 14, 1 through 3, the Apostle John saw the Lamb standing on Mount Zion and with him 144,000. So what they use for the 144,000 is Revelation 7 and verse number 4, where the Bible reads, And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed in 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. So... But here's the thing, if you read down a little bit further, like, I don't know, like four verses to verse number nine, look what we have in heaven. Look what we have showing up in heaven. Yeah. Verse number nine. And that's, that's what I love about all these false doctrines. You just read just a couple verses before. I mean, you don't have to like search the Bible for the truth. It's just like right there. After this I beheld, lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying, Salvation to God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood around about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and I fell on the throne in their faces and worshiped God saying, Amen, blessed and blessed in glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto God our Father unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And one of the elders answered, saying, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came thee? I'm going to turn there myself. Well, I mean, the Bible even tells us where they came from. Verse 13, verse 14, I said unto him, Sir, thou... Nope. Revelation 7, verse 9. 
These are they which came out of great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them in white and blood of the Lamb. How people miss the rapture in Revelation is shocking to me. I mean, a great multitude that no man could number. Look, 144,000. It's possible to count to 144,000. I mean, that's a number, right? So those people are something different, right? And we know that those people are sealed before the wrath. They're sealed. Why do they need to be sealed? Because they're going to be down. They're going down. They're not coming up. So they're sealed, so they're, they're identified, okay? 